Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Guys, to, uh, I'm not gonna stay long on this, on this subject um, because I've done a review, a, a video, and I posted it already about each one of these meters, clamp meters. I just wanna talk about <clears throat> what I found strange uh, about these multimeters. And uh, from using them, that's why I, 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 I found it to be so strange. And uh, I've had them for quite some time. But I've, and this one, if y'all who have seen my videos, this is the one I give them to my son. And because uh, he's, he's in the HVAC uh, trade now. And uh, he's going to school for it. So he has since given it back to me a while back. And I guess the guys who he's working, working with or maybe his teacher recommended that he use field piece. But that's okay. It's not, I got no problem with that, you know. So I was gladly... Uh, you know, I, I was glad to take this thing back. No problem. Uh, you know, he would have kept it, but, uh, you know, teach his own. No problem. But anyway, uh, I'm talking about these three, all, all three of these meters. I find it strange that uh, these meters right here are among the, the most underrated meters. Uh... I'm not going to say the world, because I can't say the whole world, but I, on YouTube, uh, I see a lot of fluke. I see a lot of, uh, let me see. Well, basically, all I see is a fluke, really, on YouTube. Anyway, but these, re these clamp meters are highly high quality, and they're underrated. Uh, I've used each one of these clamp, uh, clamp meters before, and I'm, I'm here to tell you that this one, first of all, this one is a beast among clamp meters. This one right here, this, this clamp, this is an Ampro uh, 54 NAV. This is packed with features. It has uh, AC-DC volts, AC-DC amps, AC-DC watts. They have uh, uh, resistance, diode continuity. They have capacitance temperature this thing have uh also have uh i don't have the book with me the direction they have min max feature low pass filter they have hertz acdc they have uh total harmonic distortion they have uh like a waveform in here they have phase rotation in here man this thing is packed and this out of the three i would put this up against my, which is my, I made a video on it, the Fluke 376, which is my favorite multimeter, a clamp meter. I would put this up against the Fluke 376 any day. Now, this is my Amp Probe. Amp Probe is made by, um, it's a company owned by Fluke. Now, I know that for sure, but those of you may doubt that, uh, because this meter here, I had one like this before that was giving me trouble, and when I called Amp Probe, they sent me over to Fluke. And I talked to the people at Fluke, and they said, we'll send you another one out. And this is the one they sent out. And I asked the person, does Fluke, is that probably, is that, yes. Uh, is that one company? Yep. Yeah. And they said that Fluke bought Ampro about years ago. So you may want to do the research yourself if you don't want to believe that. But anyway, Fluke belongs to Ampro. Now, this is a rebrand from a company called, called Apple. Uh, there's a lot of other multimeters out here that looks like this that have been rebranded too. Uh, a company called Isotech. They have a uh, Isotech. Oh man! It's, uh, anyway, uh, Apple Bennings, and they have a few more. But anyway, this this is one beast of a clamp meter, and I will put this thing up against a Fluke any day. It's 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 it's, it's nice and heavy. I don't mean like you know like brick type stuff, but no. But it's 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 it's, it's, it's it has a nice weight to it. Um, it's very accurate. I've put them side by side before. Check the video out that I've done the comparison video with this and the fluke and several others. This this thing is a beast. This uh, ideal industries. This is a six one dash seven six three. I think yeah seven six three. This is a beast of a multi a clamp meter. Also, this has the little tight sight. Uh, let me see, turn the light off. Y'all can see that. Instead of a white backlight, this has a like a green. 
But anyway, you can, you know, you can see if you're working this out of a panel, you can, uh, you know, you don't have to put your head in there. You can just kind of just, you know, still trying to look and see the, the display in the front. You can just leave from the bottom. I think that was uh, pretty clever about that one. But Ideal has been is a company that's been around for a long time. This one is packed with a lot of features. Uh, it has what uh, Hertz volts, uh, Hertz AC, uh, volts AC, volts DC. It has resistance, it has uh, capacitance, continuity. It has amps AC, Hertz uh, um, AC. Uh, yeah, AC. They have all function. They have min max, backlight, relative mode, and um, hold feature, peak feature. This thing is awesome too. Ideal is a company that you, that you can trust. They've been around for a long time. Uh, now, Southwire, they just came out with this meter uh, maybe a year or two ago. Um, when I first saw it, I, you, you know, it's better than I imagined because I thought that, let me just try it out and see what's, you know, see, you know, how it feels and things like that. But when I, when I first bought it, I was surprised. This thing is built like a tank. Uh, it's very accurate. I don't have batteries in it at the moment. Matter of fact, let me just take it out so you guys who want who want to see it could see it with the batteries in there. This has a white backlight. It's green. Uh, let me just take this one out. Put one in here. I don't. I didn't have three nine volt batteries. And in fact, all of these take nine volt batteries. Nine volt is not a battery that I often keep around, lying around the house. So these are some uh, Okay. close this up before I lose some screws. Now, as I was saying about this one, turn it on. This has a real good, nice backlight. Uh, and it has, uh, the features are Hertz and Volts AC volts DC, continuity, uh, diode, uh, resistance, capacitance, hertz, duty factor, uh, temperature, 600 amps, AC, uh, 600 amps DC, and 1,000 amps uh, DC. No, 1,000 AC, AC and DC. And uh, this thing, it have uh, uh, min-max, relative mode, Mm, hertz, duty factor, and and I'll leave the, the model numbers in the description below. And the model number for this one is, oh, uh, Saltwire 2307T. Saltwire 2307-0T, that's it. And this is a, this is a very nice uh, clamp meter. So I'm not saying guys don't go out and get, you know, get a fluke because fluke is top of the line, you know, but these companies that's, that's coming out now, their meters, and they know, they, they know that fluke is a name that everybody going to be running behind and, and trying to go get without saying. So they, uh, as I said once before, that they have to step the game up in order just to get a piece of the action uh, that's fluke getting. So this meter if out of the three, which one I was, which one I would choose, if I was up and coming electrician, it would be, uh, if, I, if out of the three, which one I would choose? If you younger guys who are coming up now in, in, in the trade, 
which one I would shoot would be the first one out of the, out of the three. It would be the Ampro uh, 54 NAV. This one is packed with features. Even if you're in the uh, HVAC trade, this is the one that you'll want to go with. The, 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 the second, my second choice out of these three, it, it would be this ideal. And naturally, my third one would be this one. So, uh, just, you know, they all are good, but that's the order I would pick. This would be the top of the line over, over all of them. But these meters are underrated, you know, guys. They are underrated. You don't you don't see them on, on uh, YouTube. You don't hear about them on YouTube. Uh, but don't, if you ever get a chance to get your hands on one, don't pass it up. Don't pass it up, especially this one. Don't pass it up. If I ever get rid of any, this, the one I will put up against anything, anything that's out there, it'll be this one. It'll be this one right here. And then I put these up against anything also. So God, just want to tell you thank you. Happy New Year's. Um, stay safe. I hope 2020 be as, uh, as prosperous as 2020. I mean, 2021 be as prosperous as 2020 was. Uh, be safe. Take care. And, uh, and if this video helped you out, only thing I ask to do is just that you subscribe to the uh, channel. I'll tell you what. Why don't you just look at a, a few of my other videos. And if you like them, then, and then subscribe. But if you think this video could, could help someone else, you know, share the video with them. I would appreciate that. And I, I, I always ask you guys to leave a comment, you know, because I like I like things y'all guys be saying. I like talking tools. Uh, I love tools. I love the trade that I'm in. And, um, you know, iron sharpen iron. Maybe we can just sharpen each other iron a little bit here. So, guys, I just want to tell you thank you. And, uh, Take care and peace out.